Hey everybody, welcome back to my walkthrough of Space Chem. This is Wandering Kid. So we're still very early in the game, and because of that, I'm just going to tackle all the rest of Surinamir 4 in this episode. That'll be the board's multiple outputs, an introduction to pipelines, there's something in the fish cake, and sleepless on Surinamir 4. Let's get started on multiple outputs. So multiple outputs is basically what it says on the cover. We're going to bring in a double bonded carbon oxygen atom. We need to send carbon through psi and oxygen through the omega outputs. So hints time. So two hints this time. Your first hint is if any part of a bonded molecule lies outside the output region, it will not shift. Your second hint is that you can split across the outputs and make your life a lot easier. All right, so let's begin. So we've got a carbon monoxide atom coming in. We've got to split to carbon and oxygen. Seems reasonable enough. We'll split it there. We'll get these guys out of the way. So we're on red. We'll add it. We'll grab it. We'll come down here. We'll go this way. Now we're going to turn it. The reason we're going to turn it is because we want to bring the carbon to the top. And since it's that way, we need to flip the rotation. We're gonna drop it off here. We'll come up this way and leave. We'll unbond it twice. And we'll do a pair of outs for each side. Seems reasonable enough. If we give it a quick test. Flip, flip, and out it goes. Now, let's optimize this for uh, sequences. I'll just start this on the other side, and we will do the exact same thing for blue. There we go. Simple enough. Now, if you only wanted, to, if you wanted to optimize for symbols. You would only use one of your Waldos, but I prefer to optimize for lap cycles unless I'm aiming for something else. So our next board is an introduction to pipeline. So let's take a look at the board. So here's a training manual. This is a production assignment. You have to produce things to send to freighters. You may receive multiple reactors. Pipes will carry things between. Each reactor, other than very special occasions, can have two inputs and two outputs. So here we go. Our first true puzzle. Ish. That was easy. Let's go to the next one. Sorry, I couldn't resist, guys. All right, so our next one is there's something in the fish cake. Now, there is a story that goes on behind this entire thing. I'm not going to go through it. You can look it up online. But basically, it's the story of the poor guy who's going through Space Chem as his job, trying to figure out how things are supposed to happen. So our first basically, quote unquote, real puzzle board, it's still being pretty simplistic. But just to stay in form, we've got one reactor, we've got a storage tank here of hydrogen, we've got a storage tank here of chlorine, and we want to send out hydrochloric acid, which is a single bond between the two. We have an option to bring in a reactor to feed out. We have a maximum reactor quota of one. Okay. So. I, there's really not a lot of hints for this level, but first hint, you've done this before. You're just playing with the pipelines right now. It's very simple. Second hint, open up the reactor. It'll look familiar. All right, let's begin. We're going to bring the hydrogen here. Oops. Going to bring the chlorine there. We know we need to do an output. So I'm going to set my output for the lower one. We 
we will have red do an in a grab a drop and a sink i'll have blue do the same thing start you a little closer oops that needs to go there bring it in grab it bring it over drop it and what I'll do here is, is I'll sync it here. And we will send the output out there. And the reason for that is I'll let the red get up there and start its travel while blue takes care of the rest of this stuff. So let's get it going. Okay, so you'll notice we're actually waiting on an in. And this is what happens. Things flow through the pipeline to where you're going. At the beginning, this is more important, but this is going to be a lot more important later when you're actually producing items and you may have a shortage in different locations. So while you're on this, you can actually see your reactor running, which is kind of neat. I kind of like that. And you can double click on it to go in and we'll just speed things along. I'm done. So there's apparently a way that you can trim off some cycles here. I don't know it offhand. 18 symbols, I pretty much did it the way everybody seems to have. So we're gonna go to Sleepless on Surname Air 4. And this, I would say, is probably the first real puzzle board of the game. It's gonna show you all the elements that you'll usually be dealing with until you get those little advanced elements that come up later in the game. So here we have three storage tanks, hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon. And we need to build a formaldehyde molecule, which is a carbon double bonded to an oxygen and two hydrogen atoms linked off of it. So your hints. The first hint is you can, you will have to use both reactors. You cannot get three feeds into a single reactor to be able to fully build a molecule before you're done. Second hint, you don't need to worry about usage rates here you won't be able to build faster than storage tanks can provide. Third hint, the faster you get your first molecule out, the less cycles you'll spend in the second one waiting for it. All right, let's start. So let's start off with a simple reactor. We'll build you here. We know we're gonna need a second one. So we'll just put him up here. We'll get back to that one. There we go. Okay, so our first objective is I'm going to build the carbon oxygen. So we're going to load that up there. I don't need these guys. We're going to put him here. We're going to I'm going to go blue first. He'll go in, he'll grab, he'll come up, he'll come over here, he'll drop, he'll come down and he'll go that way. Out of my way so people can see. Uh my red is going to go in, grab, down, over, drop, up, and over. Now my blue has a much longer uh, travel pattern, so I'm going to have blue sync up as close to the start as possible. Red, however, is going to have a little room to work with. I need a double bond between the two of them. So we're going to double bond and then sync there. I'm just going to test this for a second. So that goes there, no problem. Bond once, bond twice. I forgot to put an out. We can put an out in here. We'll ship there on our way back through on the way up. Now, something to keep in mind is you can put notes onto your reactors. Because I put this here, I like to make a note where I'm very obvious as to what's going to occur. So I'm going to add a note to the this. My oxygen is here. My carbon is there. Drag over my double bond indicator, and that's what I have. Now this show and pipeline, and I'll show you what that looks like. So you'll notice here on the screen, I can move it around a bit. The two and the two matches up, and it shows me on screen what's coming out of which pipe. If I come back in here, I don't need to have it just all over the place. When you have a lot of reactors going, that becomes really annoying very quickly. So let's go in and take a look at our second reactor. Over here, we have our indicator that we set up on our note, our car uh, carbon monoxide molecule. 
And up here we have our hydrogen molecule coming in. Hydrogen atom coming in. And what we want to do is we want to set up a bonding between this carbon and two of the hydrogens, one on either end. Now, to keep in mind, we don't have to set up the molecule exactly the way it's listed. As long as it's bonded off the right points, we're fine. So if we take a look at this, you'll notice we have two hydrogens hanging off the carbon. We could have a hydrogen hanging off to the bottom instead, instead of one of the sides. Is that important right now? Probably not. This won't work this way. Never mind. Okay, what I'm seeing is, is that I got my carbon and I'm going to be grabbing it upside down compared to what I'm thinking of doing, which would be to hook the hydrogen here and here off of the carbon, but my carbon would overlap. I'd have to do it this way to bring the carbon up into this point, which I suppose I could do. But I don't like this setup. So I'm going to completely reset it. And we're going to do it. This way. Still gonna need that sink though. Oops. Actually, I'm gonna want to put that sink here. I do a grab there. I'll start it here. Now I'm gonna go through the grab drop again. I'm gonna tell it I'm done. We're gonna go that way. We're gonna drop it. I'm gonna come up this way. Come through. Do another add. Pick it up, come down. Ooh, that doesn't work. And the reason it doesn't work is because I need a drop point here. So we'll go through here. We'll shorten that up a hair. Actually, I'll come down around, delete that. And instead of going through the bottom, I'll go through the, coming across the top, I'll come this way and drop that way. Now I've got to get back to my start, but that's easily done. One of the things I could do is push this over here. Not that it really matters all said and done. The other option I have would be instead of that way is to loop this way around on the red and let it have some controls because it's going to be the late person to the party. And I don't want red to take any more time than it has to. I can always add some distance onto blue to let it know that it's time to go. Now I have to go from this sink. One, two, three, four, five steps. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem actually because the way I'm going to load this shouldn't be an issue. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually remove that sink. And I'll show you what we're going to do about that. Actually, that sink is fine. I want that sink there actually. This way it gets a head start on the next atom. So we're gonna go to blue, we're gonna go do it in, we're gonna come up, I'm gonna grab here to grab it on the oxygen molecule to make my life a little easier. I'm gonna swing this way, I'm gonna go up, we're gonna drop it. Um, huh. You know what, I'm gonna show you a trick. I'm gonna sink it here, I'm gonna sink red here. And what this does is these sinks are gonna be lined up and I'll have another blue sink back here telling it, okay, you're good to go. So when these two sync up, I'll know the entire atom is construct is ready to be bonded. Okay, so you're there on the sink. I know red is late to the party. I need a single bond going in. So now it can come over here. I've got it by the oxygen, so I want to drop it here. I'm going to send it back around. And I can put an out there. We'll set it for Psi. And this sink will tell it everything's good to go again. So let's see how this goes. We're going to watch ourselves build our uh, carbon monoxide molecule. I broke this. Let me show you what I'm seeing. So... This sink is supposed to line up with this sink, which is behind the start. However, because I don't hit it on the first one, I've already alt, uh, screwed up my timing. So what we're going to do is we're going to set that sink there. It should work out. So let's do this again. We'll build our carbon monoxide molecule. Okay, that's been shipped. 
I come in here. It's not grabbing where I thought it was. I've got it built right here, and I forgot it. There we go. Let's speed things along. There we go. So he's going to hang out here. That gets dropped, bonded, and out. And that gets shipped. That's waiting for me. There we go. Hydra done along, and away we go. Okay. Now what's happened here is I'm waiting for the out. Sometimes your pipelines will get clocked. This isn't necessarily a problem on this level, but on other levels you may end up having to wait for a pipeline to empty before you build the next thing you're gonna ship out. So be aware of that, and it's part of why I didn't attach this pipeline to the output. I wanted to show you. A pipe here will only take one molecule per area as it builds up backlog. And I'll show you how that works here with the hydrogen. So you'll notice hydrogen's building up here and it's building up a little bit deep, one molecule at a time. And we're shipping out our 40. I screwed something, okay. Speaking of pipelines possibly getting jammed. So what happened here, and let me start it up so you can see it. So they synced up, but if my output jams and my out is after my last sync, we've got a problem. So what I need to do is I need to put another sync in here to make sure the out has occurred. So we're gonna put in a blue sync here and a red sync here. And we're gonna make sure the out has occurred before we travel in, to go build another one. And actually we can do that here. So you'll notice they hit the sink and they go through and so on and so forth. There we go. Now if we exit the reactor, we'll speed things along. So you'll notice I'm building up a pipeline here. I'll pause it once it's full. Okay, so we filled this pipeline. We are not producing here as quickly as we're producing here. So the pipelines, oh, here we go. The pipeline's full and now they, now I've got my sinks wrong. Oh no, my sinks are right. It's waiting here on the out. I'll pause it on this one. It's waiting here on the out. This is going to sit at the sink, and then they both hit the sink, and they produce again. There we go. So now we just speed it along. 1,261 cycles. Not the best I probably have ever done, but not horrible. So, not too shabby. I f we will head for the next planet, which is... Dunoff? Sure, Dunoff. Every day is the first day. And we will start that one on the next episode. As always, thanks for watching. If you're enjoying, leave a comment or a like, or just say hey.